Hey, thermodynamics, what a cool word. Thermodynamics, yay. Um, it's a little piece of that word, something called a triple point. And depending on where you bring that up, it might mean different things. Because the word in general is means a material triple point, implies a material triple point. So what is that? <laughs> a triple point is where a material, any material, has the potential to be in three different phases. A gas, a liquid, and a solid. So at first glance, you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute something's either a liquid or it's a, it's a... But the truth is, at the surface, where the water meets the air, is a gas-liquid transition point. This is part of the looking at the meniscus co conversation. So that triple point is where the material can be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. And in this thermodynamic equation, PV equals T, pressure times volume equals temperature in a closed system, meaning that none of those elements change. They're constants. So those are some rules for being able to see the triple point. If we take water, ultra high purity water now, it has to be the good stuff, and we put it in a beaker and bring it down to its freezing point. So the water will freeze and the ice will measure zero degrees centigrade. The air around the ice might read freezing, 32 degrees centigrade. But when you get very closely to the surface of the water and its transition point to air, that actual temperature measured there is 0 0.0075 degrees centigrade. Now there's complicated reasons why that's true, but at that triple point location in time, it's not 32 degrees, it's 32.0135 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 273.1575 degrees Kelvin. This is the triple point of water. And we use this if we're going to calibrate a thermometer to very precise measurements. Otherwise, you know, zero is freezing. But if we want that absolute, if we want precision out there in those extra digits, that point zero zero seven five makes a difference to us. This is the same thing when you go to use pi. Do you use 3.14 or do you use 3.14159? How many digits out do you go when you use pi? So if you know about these things and the necessity for them, then you know about them. This triple point, I noted it was a material triple point. It's not just water that has this feature. Every material can be brought into some triple point with some very few exceptions. One of the exceptions is mercury. Mercury, to my understanding, does not have a solid state. Because when it gets close to freezing, there is a subatomic interaction we are just learning about. It has to do with particle physics we are still learning about. It's a nuance in mercury we noticed because absolute mass calculations don't quite match what we thought they should have. 
there is a subatomic thing going on in there that makes a difference out in digits, zeros to the right of the decimal place, that make a difference to a few people. This is the person that's trying to calculate uh, doping ratios for arsenic to silicon that makes your computer chips work. This is a consideration of an IC manufacturer, the circuit board manufacturer, and how closely he can make the layers and the runs on a circuit board or in the actual circuit itself. This is PV equals T stuff. It's solid objects emit a gas almost constantly. If you had a vacuum chamber and you were trying to get it to absolute zero, at that point you're trying to get to, that absolute, the actual metal itself starts to dis dis discombobulate to entropy. It's not entropy. It's a fact of vapor pressure, ion migration, and interactions at a subatomic level of particles touching each other. So your cake recipe quickly can get complicated if you're anal. <laughs> Brief triple point conversation about how many decimal places to the right do you need to go? How accurate are you in the instrument and measurement sciences? The base requirement to know an instrument is it's <laughs> big brain mess here again. You look at an instrument's capabilities. What can it do? Physically, out to these decimal places, what can it see? And then how many decimal places can it see it accurate, accurately? It's called qualifying and quantifying a detector. It's something I went through with an ionizing detector in a Geiger counter. And that's one little detector type out of millions available and people spend their lives just working on that detector type. So, triple points. You're surrounded.